Hi, what I'm showing you in this video is how to make the steering knuckles for the go-kart. So this is the finished knuckle here. Uh, and it's made up of several parts. We have some 6mm bolts. The steering arm here with a 10mm pin. Uh, the rod with a 10mm hole through it. And the C bracket. So this um, this rod will be welded onto the frame like this. Um, the C bracket goes over it and is tightly fitted. The steering arm with a pin goes through there and the, um, the 6mm nuts go through, uh, bolts go through and they are uh, tightened on there. Uh, so, and how it works is that the steering, there'll be a steering connection here um, and there'll be some steering componentry which when you turn uh, when you turn the wheel one way it'll turn and when you turn the other wheel it'll turn the other way and there'll be the wheel coming out of here. So this here is basically the the pivot or the steering knuckle that controls the steering of the car. So the first thing you're going to be making is we're going to be making this C bracket here. All right. uh, so we're not going to worry about the stub axle, that's almost one of the last things that we put on, we're just going to make this um, bracket here, because that determines the length of that, which determines the length of this, which determines pretty much everything else. All right. So um, so with this, what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, one of these things here. All right. Choice. Um, and it should be roughly 170mm long. Uh, now, you'll be making two of these and they'll need to be exactly the same length. So, as long as both of them are exactly the same length, you can start from there and it just needs to be give or take 170mm. So what you do to start with is you um, mark it out at 50mm in from each end. and square it across um, and that's where you're going to be bending it. So you're going to be bending it at 50mm there, you're going to be bending it from 50mm there and the remainder 70mm is just uh, whatever's left as long as you bend it the same way on both of them it'll be fine. Before you go and bend them however it can be helpful just to round off the corners a little bit and make that look good. So I'm just going to go do that on the pedestal grinder and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got the rounds on there now, it looks all good. And we've also got our 50mm marks in from the end and it's going to be the same on both of yours. What you do now is you set it in there with just a small section heading into the bender and the large section heading out. If you do it the other way, you're going to bend it and then you're going to be left uh, with a problem later on, have to have to solve. So it makes life a whole lot easier if you just put the small section into the bend and then the rest of the section coming out and then you set that up to um, yeah, you tighten up all the bolts and how are we going to do this? We're just going to bend it up to 90 degree angle more or less 